Hi again, everybody. My name is Greg Anderson, and this is the Good Timekeeping Show with Greg Anderson. And today I want to talk about these watches here. This is my complete collection of the MDV 106, the Casio Duro or Marlin watch. This is all six versions. Oh, actually, there's a fish that got away, but let me tell you about that in a moment. Anyway, um, these would be like the perfect watch when I was in junior high. Look at them. You know, they're uh, they're a skin divers watch, I would have said back then, but a diver style watch, 200 meter water resistant, uh, the three analog hands plus the little date window there. And uh, each one of these is the same watch, just with different colors. And uh, this one has a bracelet instead of a resin band. And you can get these for usually under $50. If you look around, sometimes you get even better deals than that. And what really turned me on to these watches, uh, it was just, I don't know, two or three years ago, I saw this one at a Walmart store not too far from my house. And it was in the clearance bin and I didn't pay too close attention to it. Uh, but I went back finally one day and just said, how much is that? And I think it was $13, $12.95. I can't, I can't even remember. I'd have to go look at my previous video to find out exactly what I paid for it. So I thought, oh, I'll try it out. And it's great, it's really great. And I got the great bargain because they were closing it out for some reason. So then I went back just a little while after that and I, I bought this one. This was not on a discount but it has the blue face and the blue bezel. That's that deep blue. I thought it was so pretty. So I got this one and it came with the resin band just like this. But I got looking around and I realized that there were some versions of the MDV 106 out there in previous years that came with a metal bracelet. And so I just looked for the part and the part number and I found the exact replacement bracelet that used to come with some models of the MDV 106. And I put that on here. And uh, so that's how I had these two, one with the original uh, resin band. And that's some, probably some sunscreen on there that got stuck in the, in the little crevices there. So if that looks like it's dusty or something, I think that that's just from sunscreen when I actually used this at a lake. And then this one, a little more dressy with the, uh, the metal bracelet. And then uh, eventually I found this one for clearance uh, at another Walmart store for $10. That was just a few months ago. And then I started to wonder, should I get the rest of them? And it was a Black Friday special at Penny's. There's a sale at Penny's. Have you heard that one before? Uh, that made me finally bite the bullet and get these. And so even though I wasn't going to find the $10 deal, <laughs> On these watches anymore. At least I got them for about mm, just a little less than $40 each for these three here. And one thing I should mention, it looks as though, okay, this is the only one that's truly unique because it has that blue face. Near as I can see with my eyes, the rest of these watches are all just the same. They have the black face and just different colored bezels there. So, uh, okay, this one's all blue, all black. This is black with, you know, the red and blue bezel. This one here has the gold highlights on the bezel. And even, you know, the, the, the metal around the ring there is kind of a gold color there. This blue and black, this one, the green bezel, but the face is all the same. And they all have that little uh, Marlin uh, logo on there and that little illustration. So the thing about these MDV 106 watches, I should tell you, they are very popular among the mod community, those people who want to modify their watches. So you could uh, just buy some bezels separately from third parties and have some fun putting different bezels on these watches. If that's what you want to do, you get the most basic one here, swap out the bezel. Some people take uh, any one of these and maybe they can pop out the crystal. And this has just kind of a mineral crystal flat there. And you can get one that's maybe domed or convex. You could maybe get one that's a sapphire glass and you could swap out the crystal. So, and, and some people even just tear them completely apart, take the, uh, take the movement out, take off the hands and we'll replace the hands with different hands. So I don't know if I have the fine motor skills to, uh, to pull that off. But it, since it starts out as such an inexpensive, affordable watch anyway, and it is such a great watch, it really feels solid, 200 meter water resistant, a screw down crown to help with that water resistance. You can really have some fun with this without spending a whole lot of money. And if you want to get into that mod stuff, be my guest. I'm probably not going to do that because like I said, my fine motor skills <laughs> and then doing things with my big fingers, probably not a great idea for me. 
But if you want to do it, more power to you. And just because I'm not doing it doesn't mean I don't want you to do it or I don't like you or something like that. You know, this, <laughs> no, not at all. So, and, or, and some people would even take one of these watches and use it as the basis for their hydro mod project where they uh, will fill all the air spaces in the watch with some sort of uh, light viscosity oil, mineral oil of some sort. And I haven't decided to do that. But again, <laughs> the MDV 106 or the Duro or the Marlin, very, very popular among those who want to mod their watches. Now, when I found the bracelet for this watch, I got a good deal. I kind of cross-referenced what was the official part number. I found some places online that had it, like on eBay, for um, uh, you know an inexpensive price. And you could argue that this is not the greatest bracelet anyway. And uh, you could argue also that this is a pretty standard size here. The uh, lug to lug, I believe, is that what they call that? I don't know. I never measure that. <laughs> Sorry. But you could get just any number of bracelets to put on that would fit on these watches and have a, have a great time with a variety of bracelet options from third parties. You could put uh, the NATO strap on these. You could have some fun with that. I decided to go with stock because I just found that. Now, right now, my preferred uh, place to find those kind of parts, packparts.com, they, they say that this bracelet has been completely discontinued. Well, the thing is, I bought three of them from other third parties. Uh, pre so here's another one. This was originally a Duro bracelet uh, that I bought as a replacement, and I stuck it on this uh, this is an MTV, uh, sorry, MTD <laughs> 1079 watch, the Super Illuminator. So, um, you know, very similar in, in a lot of respects, the size and everything. And so this is a Duro bracelet on the Super Illuminator watch. And it's not maybe a perfect fit somehow that, you know, the brushed metal doesn't quite fit exactly right, but it was close enough. So what I'm thinking of doing, though, with this one is I can get from packparts.com for about $35, $36, something in there, I could get um, a bracelet that was made for this watch and take this Duro bracelet off of here and stick it on one of these other Duros over there and then go ahead and get a Super Illuminator bracelet for this watch. And I might do that next time there's a sale at uh, Pack Parts. But in the meantime, <laughs> you know, I, I have options. I've got a Super Illuminator here with the original resin band. Here's one with a Duro bracelet that I, I'm, yeah, I think I probably will stick this on one of the other Duros, get a new bracelet for this, or I might go with a third party ideas. There's just a lot you can do with these because like I said, it's a pretty standard size and uh, not that difficult to take that bracelet off and do other things with it. So anyway, now I got to tell you something else about the Duros. One of the reasons I decided to go ahead and complete my collection now instead of waiting till later is that I wasn't sure if these were going to be discontinued sometime soon. And I still don't know for sure. But I figured as long as these were available, I'll complete the collection right now. So there is another very similar watch. You could call it the new Duro. It's the MDV 107. So this is 106 here. The 107 is out there. And the 107 does not have that little Marlin illustration on the face. Uh, other than that, I really don't see a lot of differences between the 106 and the 107, just that the 107 is a more recent release. And it seems to me that the 107 is more of an international release. So, for example, if I go onto Google and I just search for MDV 107, uh, one of the hits that comes back would be for the official Casio website. And so I click on that link. And the first thing it asks me at the Casio website is, hey, are you in the United States? Or are you international? And I say, well, I'm in the United States. And it brings back this little uh, thing that says, oops, can't find what you're looking for. Sorry, doesn't exist. Nothing to see here. Go away. Right. So I try again. And I this time say, oh, did I say U.S.? No, I'm international. And when I say I'm international, they start showing me the MDV 107. Okay, so something I know, I don't quite understand how it all works, but some things that Casio puts out are marketed to specific areas of the world. And apparently the MDV 107 is not <laughs> being marketed, not intended to be sold in the United States. So I don't know what to do. I go to Amazon and I just go to the regular search box at Amazon and I type in MDV 107. And lo and behold, it brings up these, uh, these watches here uh, without the little fish logo. Okay. 
So you can't, you can't call it a Marlin, but I guess you could still call it a Duro. And they look the same. And also there's an option where you can get them where they already come with the bracelet for about $90. And um, yeah, so that's out there. I can get it through Amazon without having to lie about where I am <laughs> located here in the United States. Or the other thing I tried, packparts.com. I looked in their search box and looked for the MDV-107, and they showed me some options for that, including where I can buy the bracelet for an MDV-107, and I could stick it onto this watch here or any of these other watches. And it looks to me from the illustration, they don't have a great picture of the bracelet for the MDV-107, but they do have um, enough of an illustration that if I go side by side, their illustration of the 106 next to the 107, I can see that it looks like exactly the same thing, the same style of bracelet, all except for that Marlin logo on it. So I'm sure that if I wanted to pay just, uh, I don't know, just over $40 and get an MDV 107 bracelet, it would fit on here. I think the clasp might be a little bit different, but if I wanted to equip these with official Casio bracelets, for the MDV-107, I could do that. Or I think, yeah, like I said, what I'll do is I'll take this one off of here, put it on one of these guys, and buy the Super Illuminator bras bracelet from, um, from Pack Parts for this. So you have those options. Now, as far as that MDV-107, I don't know. People have said that uh, Casio no longer wanted to pay the licensing fee for that fish logo on it, and that's why the fish logo is gone. I don't know, because I'm in the United States, and they're going to pretend that uh, this thing doesn't even ex exist, so I won't pretend to have definitive information about what Casio is doing with marketing these watches. But I think the thing that is important to remember is that Casio is still selling some version of this Duro watch out there. I've completed my collection of the ones with the fish, except for the fish that got away. You see, the thing is... This original black version of the Duro came out in the year 2011, and I wasn't paying too close attention to watches back in the year 2011. I had other things I was worried about and other things I was doing with my resources. So I didn't get one of these, and I didn't notice they had some other versions. So it looks like they had a version that had, instead of this black bezel, it had a uh, blue one. And there was another version that, instead of a black face, had more of a kind of a pearl white face. And I'm thinking, I would have really liked that. I think I'd like to get one now, but I can't find them anywhere. Maybe I could look deeper on eBay and stuff and, and pay a terrible price to uh, find one of those guys. But uh, in the meantime, I'm just going to say, except for the fish that got away, these are all the Duros, the 106s that I can get. And this is, to me, a complete collection. Now, there was also, you could get, sometimes you could get this one with a metal bracelet back when they were originally released in 2011. Um, I don't have as many options now, but like I said, third-party bracelets or other Casio bracelets are going to work just great on these watches. So have fun with these. If you find a good deal, um, go ahead. And even if you don't find a great deal, you know, if you're paying somewhere in the neighborhood of between $40 and $50 for any of these watches, I think that's a pretty good deal just right there. So if you find it lower than 40, I'd say, yeah, go for it. These are fun watches, durable. They're, uh, they're just, they feel really solid and um, just, just kind of heavy. You know, it's like in the movie Jurassic Park, you know, when the lawyer says, is it heavy? Well, then, then it's expensive. Put it away. Well, these aren't expensive, but they're heavy and that makes them feel really great. Let me do a quick demonstration on this guy here and just kind of show you easy, easy functions and features here. So what you have is one crown, okay? And it's a screw down crown. Right now it's uh, screwed all the way in there to help with the, uh, to help seal this for, uh, you know, great water resistance. So it's 200 meter water resistance because that's screwed down in there. But if, if you just turn it counterclockwise and you can kind of feel as you turn it where it just, it just kind of comes loose after a few turns. And there, yeah, I could feel it. It just kind of popped out. And now it just turns freely back and forth, okay? Because it's not, the threads are not engaged. So what I do here, if I want to, I can pull this out one, one click out, and it's still running, but in this case, I can now, I think it's this way. Yeah, now I can advance the date. So I can do that, 
Normally, you wouldn't want to do that between 9 p.m. and 2 a.m. or 3 a.m. just to be safe. You don't want to try to advance the date when, at a time when the, the watch itself might be trying to advance the date between 9 p.m. and 3 a.m. But I know that this is afternoon right now, so it's safe to do this, and I can just advance that to whatever date I want. And I'll just go ahead and stick that back to what is actually today's date as I'm sitting here. Now, if I were to pull this crown out one more click to the, uh, the last click there, all the way out, then that actually stops the second hand, so they call that hackable. And that's where I can uh, go ahead and change the time, and then I could dial it in exactly at, you know, at whatever hours, minutes, and seconds I want. I can just wait, and then as soon as I push it in, it starts running again, and I'm good to go. And then the last step after I've been changing the, the date or the time would be to simply push, you push this in just slightly as you're turning it clockwise. And after a moment, you can kind of feel the threads engage. Let's see. Uh, there, it's starting to go. And you can feel the threads engage. And then when you turn it just, just snug enough that it gives you a lot of resistance, you don't have to, you don't have to cram it uh, there. But just, just snug, not too tight. And now the, yeah, the crown is sealed and it'll be, give you that full 200 meter water resistance. The other thing about this is it has, has fingerprints on it. Sorry about that. <laughs> it has this unidirectional bezel. You can turn it counterclockwise and every click is a half a minute. So that would be 120 clicks to turn it around all the way. And so those of you who know how to employ a bezel like this, for uh, diving situations or to help you time things, you've got that there. It only turns in the one direction, and I usually just leave it there anyway. Um, so yeah, there you go. That's everything you need to know about running one of these things. And after uh, about three years or so, you might want to change the battery. I've uh, recently changed the battery on one of these. Uh, I think I did a video on changing the battery, and I didn't do a very good job. But now I've got a much better way to change the batteries, and everything's really easy and nice and simple. And it's a great watch and it's tough. And you could say it's a diver's style watch, a Rolex Submariner homage watch. For this price, this level of quality, it's about the best bargain you're ever gonna find on a diver's style watch. You can tell if you get one why the watch collecting community is so excited about this uh, very affordable diver style watch. And that's all I'm going to say for now. What else do you want to know? Well, maybe you want to know how to get a, a, a sapphire crystal and do some modifications on your watch. Maybe you want to know how to change a watch band. I'll put a link to where I changed uh, this watch band. I've got a video that I made uh, at least a couple of years ago. So I can give you that link and you can watch how I did this with the, with the bracelet. And go ahead, have fun. Find some bracelets. Find, go watch someone else's video to, do, to figure out how to do a hydro mod or whatever you want to try with these. But thanks for watching this video for now. And guess what? More videos are coming. So please come back. I'd like you to watch more videos right here on The Good Timekeeping Show.